So the Microsoft 365 Microsoft Feed apparently provides users with a mix of relevant content from across Microsoft 365 that helps users discover and learn about people and interests relevant at work. The feed is personal to users, will show users content based on what's like to be most relevant to a current user at any given time. Basically, if you go into Microsoft365.com, previouslyoffice.com, which still got the old branding on their screenshot, it's going to pop up stuff that it thinks you might want to work on, which is good. So the one at the moment, which I'm not sure if it's got a, a picture of the one at the moment, is pretty useless because the cards, it shows you some stuff that you've worked on, shows you some stuff that other people worked on, but the cards are so big, you just can't fit a lot of stuff on the screen at the same time. Whereas this looks like, admittedly, this one looks like a high resolution, uh, like a big monitor with the browser windows scrolled right down. So usually I would imagine people would cut off about there. So maybe you still can't see a lot of info once it comes out. But it seems a lot better. So it's coming up with like meetings. Someone updated this, this PowerPoint file and it's related to, here's what it thinks it's related to you and some messages that it's pulling out. So yeah, good development, I think. However, I don't know anyone that uses office.com. I don't know anyone that's, that uses Microsoft365.com. I use it because I work with other clients and I the easiest way for me to log on to their system rather than logging out of Teams on my Teams desktop is to go through the web browser. And it, usually if I'm working on SharePoint or Planner or Teams, I just come into office.com because it's the easiest thing to type in, log into their area or set up a, you know, a separate profile in Chrome because uh, Edges just tends to break, to be honest. So it would use Chrome, so I just logged in straight away and it comes into the Microsoft, you know, comes into office.com and then I can get, you know, quick access to this little waffle menu thing. If you're in an organization already and your intranet's in SharePoint, then you'd probably just go into that and click on the waffle menu. Or you're going to use the individual desktop apps. I don't know anybody that goes through office.com unless they're a contractor or a consultant. Um, so it's useful for me, <laughs> but I'm not sure it's going to be most useful for everyone. It'd be really useful if this feed showed up in Teams. That would be useful. It'd be useful if that feed showed up in Outlook. That would be useful. But to have it in office.com seems like a lot of development or not a lot of result.